What's up guys, Little J here, and welcome back to more Grounded Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be talking about the early game items, aka what is the best armor and weapons you can get in the early game. Well, in the early game, there's basically four sets of armor you're, gonna come, you're going to come across. Clover, Acorn, Grub, or Red Ant. So we're going to go through these one by one, talk about the... Good parts, the bad parts, so on and so forth. Let's start with the clover armor. So the clover armor is going to be your weakest armor in the game. It is not very protective. As you can imagine, it's just pieces of leaves wrapped around yourself. So it is not very protective. And likely means you'll get trounced by some enemies a lot easier than if you were in some other armors. For instance, just watch this red ant. Well, look how that much damage will do. A simple red worker ant is, will do about maybe a twentieth of a bar in one hit. Not a ton, but still not insignificant. Especially when you come across, say, like, you know, 10, 20 of these guys at once. Then again, they're not hard to take down. So why would you want to use the clover armor? Quite simply because it gives you this moist effect where essentially you don't have to get as thirsty as quickly. Your guy retains water. And trust me, early in game that's very valuable because before you get your dew collector set up, before you get your water canteens and all that sort of stuff, finding water is actually kind of difficult. It's probably going to be one of the things you spend most of your time looking for early in game. So that's what this armor is good for. Next armor we're going to talk about is the one I know I made at first, and I'm sure a lot of you probably did as well. That's your acorn armor. So your acorn armor is your best defensive early in-game armor. It'll do the best at protecting you. Let's go find another ant real quick. Here you go, watch. As you can see, the hits do a little bit less. Don't get me wrong, it's not significantly different, but it is indeed a little bit less. So, that's what this armor is good for, doing a little bit less damage. Alright. I'm going to run away from him now. I forgot I'm kind of squishy right now. It's very early in the game. But, the reason most people build the acorn armor is because of its defensive properties now the question here is should you build the acorn armor and here's the one side effect with the acorn armor you have to take into account the major threat what this does is enemies have a higher aggro range when you're wearing this set of armor so more enemies are going to come after you now granted it's not a huge increase it's a it's a bit of a a slight increase in the total aggro range but it's still notable and for that reason I'm gonna say acorn armor is not a good early in-game armor despite the fact it protects you and it keeps you from getting stunned it makes your stamina go down quicker rise slower and the major threat effect really cancels out the protective part of this armor so why don't we talk about Grub oh, Armor. So what does Grub Armor do? Well, Grub Armor, as you can see, has about a little bit less resistance than the Acorn Armor. Not significantly so, though. I say the difference is slightly negatable. But why would you wear it? Well, it's Medium Armor, which means your guys' stamina will increase the normal amount. And... It doesn't take as long to regenerate, but it does give you this little buff, the Optimize Offense. It reduces the time it takes for stamina to start regenerating once you fully empty your stamina in, a, in an attack. That's actually very valuable yeah, early in-game, because your stamina... Let's bring out something that'll waste a lot of stamina real quick. Your stamina, once it drains all the way, does not by any means come back quickly. This is with the armor... And you can see about the time it took to come back. Let's take the armor off real quick. And so I can show you the difference between the two. Again, we're 
not talking about major differences, but these differences do make a difference in game. So here we go. Out of energy. You can see that's just ever so slightly longer. Again, slight differences actually do make a bit of a difference. Here we go. Let's take some damage from this red worker ant with the grub armor equipped. Come on, buddy. As you can see, it's a little bit more than with the acorn armor, but not significantly so. I love how your buddy doesn't care that you're mad at me. Normally they all aggro on you at once. So as you can see, the damage is a slight increase, but not significantly so. So I'd say it's worth it considering that stamina region and the max stamina. That does make a difference. So I'd say grub armor, good early in-game armor. Now the last type of armor you might come across... soon so grub armor good early in-game armor I'm gonna give that the thumbs up it's good early game armor the last bit of armor we're gonna talk about is the ants armor the red ant armor specifically so what does the red ant armor do well it's light armor so you will get a slight stamina increase when you're swinging weapons, which is good. It will protect you from red ants. So let's go see if we can find the soldier ant while I'm talking to you guys. But it will protect you from red ants, a.k.a. They will, soldiers won't, will not instantly aggro on you, which is very useful. And it will also give you a little bit of a bonus here. I'll demonstrate that on the way over. Is that your hauling strength will increase. So normally you can only carry, as we know, five planks of grass. Now with this set of armor, you can carry up to eight planks of grass. Makes this armor useful to have around, even in late game. Until you get, well I shouldn't say late, but in sort of the middle part of the game. Until you get really high end, this armor is still useful to have around because of that hauling strength increase. Makes building buildings so much simpler. So here we are arriving at the ant hill. Let's find a soldier. Where's a soldier ant at? Here's the key. Soldier ants normally instantly aggro on the player. But wearing the red ant armor, where are they at? Whoa, here they are. Giant. As you can see, they don't really care. You're one of them now. They won't aggro on you, which is nice and useful, especially when you have to, or when you want to go into their cage to, their cave, not cage, to look for items and so on and so forth. It's pretty useful to have this armor. I don't have a torch on me, so I'm gonna get out of here. So I'm going to say red armor, again, is another good in early in-game armor. So I'd say the best armor set you're gonna have Let's talk about acorn armor sets. I say acorn armor is a no-go. It increases your enemy's threat range, thereby rendering it not very useful and more harmful than useful. Red ant armor, on the other hand, increases your hauling strength, increases how much you can swing, and makes red soldier ants not aggro on you, which I say makes this a very valuable armor to have, so I'm going to give that the thumbs up. Clover armor. Clover armor is not very protective, and it doesn't really do much for your stamina. It makes it slightly increased, like the red ant armor. But what it does do for you that's very useful early game, is it keeps your thirst bar filled better. Thereby making clover armor useful. I'm going to give it the thumbs up. And I did not have my red ant armor on. I changed it. I forgot about that right next to the soldier ants. As I said, soldier ants instantly aggro normally. Let's just real quick get away from them. So I'm going to give grub armor a thumbs up as well because it increases your max stamina and also does not make enemies more angry at you. So I'd say grub armor, red ant armor, and clover armor are the three best armors depending on what you're going for. 
If you're having a hard time keeping your thirst bar filled, go for the clover armor. Just be very careful about enemies. If you're running out of stamina pretty quickly, I'd say go for the grub armor. Or if you like running around a lot. And if you're exploring the ant cave or base building, go for the red ant armor. Those are your three armor types that are useful early in game. So now let's talk about weapons. Essentially, you're going to have three weapons plus a shield you're going to use early in game. So it's going to be your pebblet spear, your pebblet axe, your spiky sprig, and maybe a weevil shield. You might have built that by now. So your, sp your pebblet spear does not do a ton of damage, but on the other hand, it does do damage very quickly because it's a very fast swing. And as a plus side, when you're holding a, the pebblet spear, you can have your shield equipped. Which will reduce overall damage taken from your enemies. And make it a little easier to block. Thereby making the pebblet spear useful. For taking down most enemies. Now let's talk about the pebblet axe. Now what is the axe good for? Well the axe will let you of course. Chop. Chop. Apparently two stools need a level two, but it'll let you chop down blades of grass, which are needed to make certain items such as your workbench and basic structures. It'll also let you down, chop down other items such as dry grass needed for torches and so on and so forth. Thereby making this definitely an item you um, you pretty much need to have. But should you use it in combat? That's the question we're trying to answer. Well, like the pebblet spear, you can use the weevil shield with it. Which makes it pretty useful, and the damage it does is actually pretty decent. More than the Pebblet Spear, as you can see, I can take down a Red Ant and two combos with this. Thereby making it a decently effective weapon in combat. So, it depends on what you're going for. This is an item you need to have. The Pebblet Spear is not necessarily needed. So that's the reason some people use the Axe. Now the last item we're talking about does the most damage out of all of them but also requires the most stamina to use, the spiky sprig. I'm running out of ants over here. Let's go find one more ant. But the spiky sprig is a two-handed weapon, meaning you cannot use your shield when using this item. I heard an ant. Come on, buddy. Let's draw you away. I don't want to take on all of you. Let's come out here where it's just me and you. Here we go. Oh, nice hit. Perfect block. Like I said, learn to perfect block. It'll do you wonders in the game. Because you can avoid hits like that. And he's down. As you can see, the spiky sprig, pretty useful. Let's take on one of these guys with a normal. I think that's two of them. All right, we got one of them on us. With a uh, normal pebblet spear, see how we can do. Just the speed of this weapon makes a big difference. You're able to take him down pretty quickly there. All right, let's find one more and take him on with a axe. All right, we have one on us. Let's draw him away again. Here he comes. Take him on with an axe. Come on, dude. Get close to us. As you can see, the axe not as useful as in, for combat as some of the other items. Even a three-hit combo doesn't do as much as just wailing away with the pebblet spear. So the axe, while useful, is not the best early game weapon. It's certainly an early game item, but not an early game weapon. Alright, one down. As you can see, I would much prefer to use probably the... Spear because of its speed or the sprig because of its damage. Axe is just two in the middle of those two. As you can see, taking down red soldier ants is not that hard with these items if you learn to block a little bit. And learn how to get them one-on-one, -on -one, it's pretty easy. 
house a little low, so let's get out of here. But that, folks, is a review of the best early game clothing and weapons. But I hope this helps, guys. I'll be sure to come out with more guides soon in the future. Be sure to follow along if you want to see some more guides. But until the next one, guys, I've been Little J, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>